Palestine and how I always wonder if this means my lungs are filled with sand. I tell you, I feel salt water can wash clean almost everything, so I use the tears to rid myself of the mud that gathers underneath my chest on days the world around me is drowning. Four, you tell me I'm sweet, and I wonder if this means I'm soluble. It's like sugar at the tip of your tongue I will dissolve, if only then you realize you need more of me, or maybe less. Five, it's a cold night, and my body is giving me more than enough reasons to hate it. I'm not able to give you all the parts of me I promised were yours to love when I first laid in your arms. I feel sorry, and I stare at you in silence, and you have a sweet tooth. So I honey glaze my apologies, raise my fingertips to your lip, and watch as they dip slowly into your mouth. I pray you accept them. I feel sorry, but I only stare at you in silence. Six, it's a full moon night, and we can't fall asleep. We lay at the end of the bed, feet tangled up in one another, our thoughts flailing to the sounds of their separate rhythms and heartbeats, something so harmoniously as if in prayer, so irregularly, it reminded me of our mortality. Falling asleep that night, I dream us infinite. Seven, I run my fingertips across your bare chest, spelling out the names of every bone that had to bend and stretch just so you could melt into one another the way we have. Epilogue. It's been a year since we last talked. My mind is turning into an etched sketch, all memories of you are pixels. I think of myself when I think of you, and my mind has been hungry to see dip into a pool of your memories. Some nights, I go to bed without you having crossed my mind. I remind myself to think of you, then remind myself to forget about you. Thank you. <laughs>